we have with us mr ram kumar mohan chief information officer a works who will be talking regarding am for aviation mro good afternoon everyone i am working as cio for airworks airworks founded in 1951 is india's largest independent mro airworks is the only indian mro providing services to oems airlines defense services and private jets for uh, maintenance painting avionics structure repair services and manufacturing support this is the agenda for my today's uh, presentation i'll be talking about am in uh, aerospace and defense primarily and uh, also the global market trend and the benefits in uh, aerospace and defense additive manufacturing also known as 3d printing is an important technology innovation whose roots go back nearly four decades in the early stages of am's deployment the technology was largely geared toward prototyping and tooling applications however in recent years am has found success in end part production driven by improved manufacturability and reduced lead time compared to traditional manufacturing methods the aerospace and defense industry was an early adopter of am technology the history of am traces back to 1983 with some aerospace and defense companies beginning experimentation with the technology in the 1990s the uk became one of the leading countries in using am within the product development arena due to advances in materials and machine technology am is now a truly transformational cross sector technology that is having a disruptive impact on design manufacturing location supply chains and business models it enables new and better designs to be realized at lower cost enhance productivity and greater sustainability the global ea market is estimated to reach 41 billion us dollar by 2027 from 14 billion us dollar in 2020 with a year on year growth of 27% among asian countries china holds 50% of the market followed by other countries india is holding 3 to 5% em began with creating rapid prototypes on a small desktop size scale today the applications have expanded to various industries for use in everyday products the automotive and aerospace industry has taken a larger stance to developing am for its products the chart here highlights the various industries that adaptive manufacturing is being applied and as we notice here aerospace is holding about 18% there are over 20000 commercial aircrafts and 15000 business jets currently in operation globally and this fleet is expected to double in size over the next 20 years the there are life self support opportunities associated with growing number of aircraft are estimated at over 1.9 trillion us dollar between 2016 and 2035 this growing market and associated travel life support offers major opportunities for additive manufacturing aerospace am is forecasted to touch 3.2 billion us dollar in 2025 the opportunities in additive manufacturing for civil aviation parts production are beyond question the number of application cases leveraging am's value proposition continues to expand increasingly driven by 
some of the largest aviation part supplier aim for civil aviation part production is forecasting this to translate into a 7 billion dollar overall yearly business opportunity within the next 10 years including hardware materials and part service revenues by choosing to adopt additive manufacturing tier 1 suppliers have increased pressure on all other suppliers to do the same many of them are now rising to challenge widening the number of am adopters in the industry as well as the number of tested applications aircraft maintenance repair and overall which we call mro plays very vital role and is an essential part of the aviation industry the main task of the mros is to ensure the airworthiness of the aircraft during the periodic aircraft inspection or unscheduled line maintenance recent studies indicate that a more agile and efficient supply chain network can be developed through the integration of am with the aircraft industry individual players can produce parts locally allowing for the true just in time production of parts needed suddenly and more robust supply chain system consequent benefits will be reduced warehousing inventory management transportation and the overall supply chain cost airways as a mro is focusing on this area am in aviation and mro is used to manufacture various interior bracket, uh, brackets molds spare parts such as arm caps armrest plugs aircraft seat parts such as seat bracket seat belt molds mechanical parts engine components various tooling jigs and fixtures aircraft models for wing tunnel applications and flight test parts in aerospace and defense it is used for landing gears small surveillance drones grenade launchers complex brackets and jet engine components the advantages of am are low volume production of high value products with complex geometries fuel efficiency through weight redu reduction of parts and improved product utility through on demand production of replacement parts many aerospace oems and airlines have started using 3d printing in march 27 an airbus a380 took off for the first time with a titanium wall block manufactured using 3d printer and successfully completed its route never before as a hydraulic primary flight control component made from titanium powder using an additive manufacturing process been used in an airbus the 3d printer component works like a traditional forged wall block but has two crucial advantages it is 35 to 45 percent lighter and it's made up of fewer individual parts even with the small components the effects can be significant as every kilogram removed save tons of co2 emissions during the lifespan of an aircraft for some aircrafts which are retiring the availability of spare parts is less particularly if they are low demand and outdated parts this puts mros and oem under pressure am helps foster availability of such old aircraft parts and as well as reducing inventory cost honeywell's first 3d flight critical engine part was certified recently by the regulator faa and boeing's 
Dribble seven X is another example of how far three D printing has come in the aerospace industry. The Dribble seven X, which completed its first test flights on January and is projected to enter into service by twenty twenty two, features two G Aviation G nine X engines, each with three hundred three D printed parts. Etihad Airways, as we see in the picture, installed a 3D printer TV frame on one of its aeroplanes. Dell Aviation has delivered a 3D printer part for passenger aircraft to Qatar Airways. Singapore Airlines have been using Stratasys FTM technology to produce over 5,000. Certified parts for aircraft cabins to date. The performance enhancement benefits delivered by AM in various aerospace and defence applications is noteworthy. Several reasons underlie AM's relatively widespread adoption in aerospace and defence. AM provides the flexibility to create. Complex part, part geometries that are difficult to build using traditional manufacturing. It can build parts with the designs such as internal cavities and lattice structures that help reduce parts weight without compromising their mechanical performance. Furthermore, AM machines produce less scrap than traditional machines. a critical attribute when using expensive aerospace materials such as titanium finally aims impact on economics of scale and scale and scope make it a natural fit for aerospace and defense which in contrast to other mass production industries is largely geared toward customized production Additive manufacturing, which is ushering the world into an industrial revolution 4.0, offering immense potential that could transform India's manufacturing and industrial production landscape. As countries and companies choose to diversify and recalibrate their supply chains, thus restructuring the global manufacturing order, India is faced with an opportunity to, to strengthen. its value proposition and realign its global positioning as mentioned in national strategy document ministry of electronics and information technology being a nodal agency of digital technology in our country is in the process of evolving a national strategy to promote all the verticals of the aim sector including machines materials software and designs to leverage the untapped business opportunities in this emerging technology and position india as the manufacturing hub of the world the national strategy on am aims to create a beneficial ecosystem for design development and the deployment and to overcome technical and economic barriers for global am leaders to set up their operations with supporting ancillaries in india facilitating development of the domestic market and enhancement of global market set the national strategy on am focus on identifying present challenges and providing their immediate and long term solutions the strategy identifies key areas which require immediate attention to support indian am sector the vision and mission of national strategy clearly highlights this am in indian aerospace currently presence of indian private players in the aerospace industry is limited to tier 2 tier 3 component manufacturing and design engineering and it solution The airline industry was one of the earliest advocates of AM 
and is also responsible for its advancement in both end use parts manufacturing and prototyping in the evaluation of material engineering capabilities of this technologies provides a promising opportunity for domestic manufacturers to adopt a methods using custom alloys and high end thermoplastics to develop lightweight metal components for aircraft and space ships thereby reducing import dependency and raw materials rapid on demand production of aircraft parts further saves space time and money supporting domestic manufacturers to capture a larger share of the value chain india is expected to purchase approximately 750 aircraft and helicopters in the defense sector moreover the total defense mro market segment in india is projected to reach approximately 2.5 billion dollar by 2025 reverse engineering capabilities of am technologies are well suited to help capitalize on this opportunity by aiding repair and management of aircraft components am in indian defense india is currently the second largest importer of defense equipment gives rs worth 1000 billion dollar a year for defense procurement making it one of the india's one of the world's most attractive markets for defense companies revised fda norms have now allowed 74% foreign investment in the defense sector under automatic rule and 100% through government approval rule this will provide incredible drive to private companies to acquire advanced 3d technology the new offset guidelines also extend higher multipliers for transfer of technology to further enable acquisition of nis aim technologies to strengthen indian defense forces moreover the defense procurement policy 2020 promotes native design capabilities and higher localization to increase participation of the domestic industry now there are challenges as well to the adoption of em the national strategy document highlights challenges you know as mentioned here cost is one of the main challenge since em technology in india is still evolving the equipment and material cost are high as industrial em is still in the early stages of development there is a lack of formal em industry standards the em ecosystem needs to develop by aggregating all service providers under a single platform to provide comprehensive em solutions the lack of trained and experienced engineers and designers is a major impediment to the adoption and advancement of em as a new technology the first challenge may focus on loss related to intellectual property and possible concerns around trademark and design violations the national strategy also recommends some of the measures to be taken to address these challenges wider adoption of em could be supported through the development of process control machine robot robustness open platform equipment and new em process capabilities to enhance applications of em for various sectors development of requisite em standards and protocols for india is another measures that to be taken development of robust qualification and non destructive testing would be important to address standardization issues issues and ensure quality assurance focus on development of advanced materials for industrial application in defense and aerospace is needed strengthening existing cyber laws is required to effectively ensure risk mitigation and safety of am digital assets and timely detection and incident response for cyber attacks on am systems the inclusion of am in indian in indian aerospace manufacturing has great benefits engaging conventional manufacturers and industrialists to adopt to this technology can help reap good benefits in the future 
This will not only lead the Indian manufacturing and tooling industry to the pinnacle of technological advancement, but also boost Indian economy, leading to social harmony. Thank you so much. Thank you for the amazing session. Hope you have learned a lot from this session. 